What's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fistigraf Series. You are looking at perhaps the toughest middleweights in the 1950s. Now, of course, you had Jake LaMotta and many others, Eduardo Lassi. But these have to be the toughest middleweights who were champions outside of Jake LaMotta in the 1950s. Jordan Utah's Gene Fomer to your left. He was a two-fisted puncher who would hold the NBA middleweight champion of the world several times. He would get his belt from the great Sugar Ray Robinson. Carmen Basilio would be a welterweight and middleweight champion. He would take his middleweight championship belt from Sugar Ray Robinson. That's what these men had in common. Carmen Basilio would be stopped only twice in his career. And the only man to do that would be standing to his left, Gene Former. Carmen Basilio was known as the Onion Farmer. And he was quite some fighter. I'm Scrap of Boxing, and I want to go through the careers of Gene Fomer and Carmen Basilio right here with you on a museum of the Forgotten Fistigraf series. Quite a fighter these two men were. Now, Carmen Basilio fought from 1948 to 1961. He was an Onion Farmer who was born upstate New York. March 2nd, 1927, Canastota to be exact. And he died November 7th, 2012. He was 85 years of age at the time of his death. I knew him personally and met him several times. He did not like Sugar Ray Robinson worth a damn. Didn't like him at all. There was personal reasons for that. And Carmen Basilio just knew who he liked. He claimed that Ray Robinson snubbed him when he was walking with his wife. He went over to introduce himself and Ray Robinson felt he was high and mighty. That's a personal opinion. But I can say that Carmen Basilio was a hell of a fighter. He was a welterweight, stood five foot six inches, and had a total bout of 79 total fights. 56 wins, 27 knockouts, 16 losses, and he was only stopped twice by Gene Fulmer. Being a ring with Gil Turner, September 7th, 1955, and what a fight that was. Johnny Saxton lost to him once and defeated him twice. Peter Mueller at the War Memorial. Now, Peter Mueller would have some fight with Laszlo Papp. Laszlo Papp was a three-time Olympian. And that Peter Mueller and Laszlo Papp fight, a war would break out towards the end of a stoppage. And a cornerman and referee would be chased out of the ring. Carmen Basilio would also be in the ring with fighters such as Tony DeMarco and Kid Gabalon, Sugar Ray Robinson, of course, Gene Fulmer, and many, many others. Now, the thing with Carmen Basilio, his career almost ended in 1949 because he kept breaking his hands. And a young trainer who trained out of Stillman's gym by the name of Angelo Dundee would take his career over. And the championship matches would begin shortly after that. And Carmen Basilio showed his grit and proved why he was one of the toughest fighters in boxing history. Gene Former, to your left, known as the Cyclone. Original name, Lawrence. He was born July 21st, 1931, West Jordan, Utah. Died April 27th, 2015. He was 83 years of age at the time of his death. He would reside in West Jordan, Utah. Met him several times. Had very good conversations with Gene Farmer. Very likable individual. He stood five foot eight inches with a middleweight. Had a 69 inch reach. Well, from June 9th, 1951 to August 10th, 1963, had total bout career of 64 fights, 55 wins, 24 knockouts, six losses. He was only stopped twice himself and would have three draws. One of those draws was with Sugar Ray Robinson, and one of the stoppages is with Sugar Ray Robinson. Had 30 straight victories between 1951 and 1955, finally losing to Florentino Fernandez. 
He would face Gil Turner, Eastern Parkway Arena, and the former was sent through the ropes. And after receiving a left hook to the jaw, Gil Turner would be in victory over Jordan Utah's Gene Former. He would face Gil Turner two times, win one and lose one. Peter Mueller, he would defeat him. He would defeat Del Flanagan and Al Andrews. He would lose to Bobby Boyd. He would lose to Eduardo Lassie. Eduardo Lassie was perhaps one of the hardest punches in middleweight history. No question about it. Rob Tiger Jones would defeat him twice. Moses Ward, he would defeat him. Ray Robinson three times, one loss, one draw, and one victory. He would face Dick Tiger three times, would lose twice, and have one draw. Spiderweb, another outstanding fighter. But on the night of August 28, 1959, Cal Palace, he would knock out Carmen Basilio for the vacant NBA middleweight championship belt. Fight him again, June 29, 1960, Salt Lake City. And he would knock him out again. The NBA middleweight championship belt. Carmen Basilio went nuts because he felt the, the fight should have never been stopped. But that's just the character of Carmen Basilio because he was a tough, gritty, and had a lot of pride middleweight. I have full respect for both these men. Gene Former would face Benny Kid Perret. Benny Kid Perret would heckle his younger brother, Jane Former. And Gene Former, you didn't play with. When he got Benny Kid Perret in that ring, all hell broke loose. Knocked him down several times before he knocked him out. And I believe that added the injury that he would suffer when he faced Emil Griffith a couple of weeks later. R.I.P. to Benny Kipperet. R.I.P. to Gene Former and Carmen Basilio, two great middleweights. And Carmen Basilio would be in the ring with Kid Gavilon, Chuck Davy. Ray Robinson, Johnny Saxton, and Tony DeMarco. Those who's who of boxing. Gene Former, one of a kind. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Looking at these great middleweights. I'm Scrap of Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fistical Series. All great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. Salute to my subscribers. Salute to Gene Foreman and Carmen Basilio, two of the greatest middleweight champions in boxing history.